Today I want to talk about understanding ranks. You need to have an understanding of ranks. You need to understand about the technology of ranks. You need to understand that God is a God of ranks. He has is a God of honor. You know, all things before God, you know, are not equal. All people before God are not, are not equal. Many people think that, you know, so long as we are born again and we are in the church, we are all brothers and sisters. No. Some of us or some people within the same circle called the church have been lit at higher ranks than others. And this one, you can learn it very well, even the way the, the soldiers or the, the army, those those. Um, those those in the army, those in the navy, those soldiers, how they operate. They are not equal. And let me tell you something, every rank respects the other by order or in order of their of their hierarchy. Because you cannot underestimate ranks. In every circle you cannot underestimate ranks and survive. That is why if you understand that somebody is ranked above you, you have to humble before them and you, need, and you need actually to give them respect. And that is why people have dire consequences when they fail to recognize ranks. And I'm not talking carnally, I'm talking spiritually. So I'm talking about understanding ranks. If you read in the book of Jude chapter 1, verse number 1, don't go anywhere else. Jude is just one book uh, before the revelation. Jude is a brother to Jesus, but see how he introduces himself. He says that I, Jude, a servant of Jesus Christ and a brother to James. I, Jude, am a servant to Jesus Christ and a brother to James. Yet, both James and Jude were brothers or blood brothers to Jesus Christ. Look at how even James introduces himself in James 1, the very first verse. He says, I, James, a bold servant of God and of Jesus Christ, a bold servant of God and of Jesus, and a servant of Jesus Christ. So they both called themselves servants of Jesus Christ, yet they were blood brothers. They had come from one mother with Jesus Christ. But they, they, they were aware of this one thing, that when it comes to the things of the Spirit, they were not brothers to Jesus Christ. They, they were simply servants. Jesus was ranked high. They could not actually underestimate that. Let me tell you something. The reason why most of us are not experiencing, let me tell you something, we are not experiencing some blessings that we are supposed to be uh, experiencing, is because we underestimate ranks. Look at Hannah. Hannah underestimated, therefore, he underestimated the rank called uh, Eli. Eli was all along there. But Hannah used to go to the mountains, used to go prayer and fasting, used to go to what people, people call sacrificing and all these things. He, he, she used to do a lot of things together with the, with the husband, neglecting a rank that carried <clears throat> that carried her answers. She was so much humiliated more or so many years by uh, Penina when the rank that could have solved her solutions long time ago was there. But Hannah kept, you know, ignoring and overlooking the rank. Could be the problems that you're going through is because you have you are underestimating, you are overlooking a rank that could be doing a lot in your life. I love, I love and I adore very much the ministry in Nigeria, one of the countries of West Africa. You know, those people really understand and they, and they, and they adore and they esteem this issue of ranking so much. They understand that even if we are born again, we are spirit filled, we happen to be the same ministry, we are not the same, we are not equal. There are those that are higher than us in ranking, and there are those of us who are lower. But when it comes to East Africa, 
East Africa titles have cheated us so badly so that we think all of us are the same. Simply because I'm a pastor and he's a pastor, we think that we are the same. Simply because I'm a bishop and he's a bishop, we think we are all the same. And this is where we are making a mistake. Look at the book of Job. The friends of Job tried to, to go before the Lord to seek, you know, to seek forgiveness and to seek actually mercy from the Lord. But God told them, go back to Job and let Job pray for you. You know, it, it is funny, it's amazing that they could not have prayed for themselves. And this is a secret that those guys in the book, I think of, um, I think First Samuel chapter 7 or something like that, they knew that Samuel was ranked higher. And when, 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 when there was a war and there were enemies that they could not be able actually to tackle, they told Samuel, go to the mountain of Mizpah and pray. Pray to God for our behalf. Most of the time they tell people, you just come and I will speak to, to God about you. They think that, oh, you think I cannot say it by myself. I also know how to pray. By the way, um, I also have the same salvation like you. But guys, let me tell you something. You could be grassmates, but we are not grassmates. We could be church churchmates, but we are not grassmates. We could be edgemates, yeah. You could, even be, you could even be older than me. But somehow, in the ranking, I could be above you. It is good to understand some of these, uh, you know, uh, principles because they are very, very important. There are things, let me tell you something, there are blessings that you don't need to sweat. There are blessings that you can receive without sweating. You only need to, you only need to recognize an authority. You only need to recognize a rank. And the moment you recognize a rank, and then you choose to respect and to honor this rank, automatically the grace is actually distributed towards you the grace flows you know it's like you just inherit it automatically and you receive it automatically look at abraham abraham in the book of genesis 14 he fraternized with Melchizedek, and Melchizedek comes and braces abraham guess what before then abraham had problems in her farm in his family he had problems. There was no child. Barrenness was all over. There were things that were really going so bad in his family. But the moment he fraternized with this grace, this rank called Melchizedek, and the moment this, this rank actually, you know, declared about his case, everything else, you know, it's like problem ceased, you know, in the life of Abraham. Could be you are there, you're suffering. Could be you are there, you are ragushing in servitude. Could be you are there, you are secret. You've tried all the medicines. You have tried all the doctors. You have tried too much. And most of the times, you know, you've been overlooking some people that you know within your and your spirit is a witness that this is a man of God. This is a man that can really speak words and they happen to be. Let me tell you something the Bible says. In the book of 2 Chronicles 20, 20, have faith in the prophets and you shall prosper. If you have faith in some men, you shall have the blessings. If the Bible says that if you receive a righteous man in the name of a righteous man, you shall receive the righteous man's reward. Is you receive, if you receive the prophet in the name of the prophet, you shall receive the prophet's reward. The problem with you is you, you feel so healthy. You don't respect the ranks. You don't respect the anointed. You them tell you something. The anointing that you despise, that anointing cannot actually help you. But the anointing you respect is the anointing that can help you in the name of Jesus Christ. You could be there and maybe you're doing a lot of things. Just do one thing. Understand the ranks. Have an understanding about ranks. Understand those people that God has put above you upon you recognize them and do something with about it and you will see yourself rising high and high amen welcome i mean bishop david hallelujah thank you lord oh my god i bless you god i bless you god i bless you god 
ropo sapra dena handolele bena mashaka. Like.